Good morning, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's Phil Thatch and Heather and I are here at Volkswagen Wetlands. And just across this now busy road, because they've opened it to traffic, is an Eastern Kingbird nest. It's fairly close and yet still kind of too far away. And I was shooting with the 100 to 500, but now I've put the 800 F11 and the 1.4 teleconverter on the 1.6 crop R7. So it's a lot. I'm going to start out with this image of this Phoebe to show you what can be done with the high resolution APS-C camera and the 800 millimeter lens and the 1.4 teleconverter. This was kind of like a perfect situation because it was bright sun. The sun was at my back and on the bird. The bird is tiny and oh so far away. And I've got this crop down from the 32 and a half megapixels that the R7 produces down to exactly eight megapixels. It's down to 4K and it's not resized to 4K. It's actually cropped to 4K. So what you're looking at is a 100% crop. So this thing was tiny in the frame, even with all of that focal length. And in this example, it didn't fall apart too bad. It looks fairly good. So the full frame equivalent of this combination, you got 1,120 millimeters of real focal length, and then you multiply that times the 1.6 crop, and you end up with 1,792 millimeters full frame equivalent. So that is pretty crazy. I showed you before a photograph of a morning dub, and finally, here's what we were actually at that location to see. It's the Eastern Kingbirds that were there. And I was enjoying shooting with this focal length, but eventually I did decide to switch back to just the 800. And Heather, the whole time we were there, she shot with the only telephoto lens she has, which is the much sharper 100 to 500. But still, you can see what you can do with the teleconverter and the 800 on the 1.6 crop high resolution R7. I took the teleconverter back off. It's really nice to have all those millimeters, but it just didn't seem quite sharp enough. You know, the 800 is tricky to get a, a sharp shot of by itself, but when you add the teleconverter, it just kind of falls apart. So I'm gonna try just the 800 by itself, which I've used many times. Okay, so here is an 800 millimeter shot I made of the adult Eastern Kingbird feeding the three juveniles in the nest. And now let's look at what Heather was doing. Here is a muskrat that was swimming around and I had the teleconverter and the 800 on and when it would surface for a second, I couldn't even get it in the frame quick enough before it would go back down. Here is a yellow-billed cuckoo, which Heather made a photograph of. This is a lifer for her. She had never photographed one of these before and I didn't get it in the frame either. So sometimes it's easier with a little bit less focal length to get the shot. And check out this shot that Heather made of the adult. Of course, she's got this cropped a lot more than my 800 millimeter shot that you saw, but it still looks just as sharp. So that's something to think about. And I love this shot. I couldn't get all of this in the frame. This is one of the adults below the nest with the babies up in the nest. She's got another one of those type shots. In this one, it looks like it's looking up and singing to the babies in the nest. So that's really cool. Heather did a great job today, I thought. And here is one more with the adult on the nest and you can see one of the juveniles saying, hey, bring me some food. Something else you can do with the 100 to 500 is use it for near macro work because it has a great minimum focus distance and pretty good maximum magnification. And Heather made this beautiful shot of a dragonfly. It was getting a little too crowded for us down at Volkswagen Wetlands. There were three other photographers there trying to get photographs of the kingbirds. So Heather and I left and came what is almost literally right around the corner Maybe that's a little exaggeration, but not far at all up here through the gravel road that leads to the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail. And so far up here, we've gotten photographs of indigo bunting and field sparrow. I stayed with the 800 millimeter lens and no teleconverter for the rest of the day. And of course, Heather continued to work with the 100 to 500. Here are my two indigo bunting photographs. I thought they turned out really nice. It was quite a ways away and this bird is tiny. Another difference you'll see when Heather's shots come up right now, she was using the Camera Faithful color profile in Lightroom, and I was using Adobe Color, which is the default that comes up. And also with the 800, I did not get a satisfactory photograph of this field sparrow, but Heather was able to bag it with the 100 to 500. It's July the 25th, and summertime is finally upon us here in Tennessee. We are sweating. We came down to the very end of the gravel road 
that leads to the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail. And in this area right here, this wooded picket area, we found a yellow-breasted chat and made many photos of it. We got a little bit carried away with the yellow-breasted chat photos. It was really awesome to see it and it came relatively close. So Heather was able to fill the frame with it and sometimes it got so close that I couldn't even get it in the frame with the 800 lens. But here are some examples of what you can do now. I don't know if you noticed, but the first shots were 10,000 ISO. This one's 6,400 and this one's 2,000. Finally, I'm gonna slow my shutter speed down from 1 800th once I realize how high my ISOs are. I love this beautiful bokefied blue background there in, in these shots on that particular perch. Here's another uh, shot. Finally, I'm at 1 250th and got my ISO down just a little bit. I had been set up for bright light and this was a shadowy area. And you can see also coming up uh, the, the profile, the color profile difference. I continued to edit in Adobe Standard and Heather was using the Camera Faithful profile as you'll see right here. It does tend to change the white balance of the shot just a little bit. Sometimes I think it looks better, sometimes not quite as good. And I was actually adjusting the tint on my shots a little bit, but it didn't adjust the colors as much as switching to Camera Faithful. Just beautiful shots with the 100 to 500 that Heather got. And these shots on the ground, I was not able to get at all because the bird was closer than the minimum focus distance on the 800 F11. I love this shot with the yellow-breasted chat and an insect in its mouth. And this photograph of the yellow-breasted chat looks like something out of an identification textbook, just a perfect portrait of a yellow-breasted chat. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for us here in and around the Volkswagen Wetlands Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail area. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. I always line you up with sun right in your eyes, don't it's I? It's okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.